But yeah, so the situation with green jelly. So I remember years, a few years back, I didn't even know green jelly was back. And uh, my friend Spike, actually, it was it was a friend that um, I knew from like we worked on Gotham like a lot together. If you ever like in, like the first season, he's around in a few things, but he was always there in the first season. It's like this like blonde, really tall like blonde punk guy with spiky hair. He um, he has his punk band too, which is actually really good. And they were playing with um, they were playing with Green Jelly at the Kingsland. Uh, I think it was called the Place back then. Uh, the Kingsland in Brooklyn, and so I saw that, and I'm like, wait, you're playing a Green Jelly? I don't know, I still played shows, and, like, so Sewage was mad good, um, and then I'm watching Green Jelly, and I'm like, like, the guy, like, the old dude on drums, but it's, like, the, the bunch of kids he's got with him that are, like, like, they're definitely, like, younger than any of the fucking albums, they're playing out of combo amps. They're, like, tuning, like, with their fucking audio on. They have, like, all, like, costumes and stuff in, like, a pile in the corner of the room. They're not using it. And I'm like, I'm like, what's the deal here? Because this is, like, I, f I feel like I recognize the, uh, the the drummer, the old dude on drums. But I definitely do not, like, fucking... Th these children are definitely not the original fucking lineup of Green Jelly. So then I look it up, and apparently what Green Jelly does is, like, there's, there are, uh, around the country, there are several different Green Jellies. Wait, what's happening here? Why is the, why is the game not popping up? Oh, there it is. Around the country, there are many different Green Jellies. And it's basically, like, franchised, so, like, any, you just kind of, like, make a deal with the guy that owns Green Jelly... Who I believe is the the original drummer, and he like you you can franchise Green Jelly the band as if like we were a fucking Taco Bell, which is like honestly, honestly that's fucking brilliant. Like it definitely has a little bit of quality control issues, but you know who who doesn't. Regardless, that the. Uh, it's, it's definitely an interesting enough topic. I mean, I feel like I, that's a thing, too, where it's, like, when I'm ready to make that video, I could probably, hit, like, hit him up and, like, do, like, a good interview with him about it. Because that would be, uh... I feel like that's the kind of topic that would, uh... It's the, it's the kind of topic that would make an interview make sense. Because it's such a, a fucking novel approach. Oh, Danny Carey from Tools, the original drummer. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just downloaded Stray now. Um, damn, can I can I change the thumbnail on it? I got a thumbnail of a, a fucking a Resident Evil and it's Stray. Can't can't be confusing people like that. Okay. Oh, I, what's funny is, like, so now I went back to Twitter, and someone quote-tweeted, Digital Ryan quote-tweeted my thing about Resident Evil 4 not working on stream. Like, that, glad this isn't the only one this happened to. So I guess that's uh, not that uncommon of a situation. But yeah, the idea of, uh, oh my god, the fucking bot's back. Naked AI, bleh. What, like, what, do they think that, like, someone's gonna be like, yo, oh my god, there's, a uh, this person's name, it's na the Naked something, oh my god, it's, I bet that's a hot girl running this account, making all those, like, kissy face, splush splush emojis, I'm gonna uh, DM, I'm gonna find this hot girl's website and talk to her, I'm gonna disrupt the dating industry with AI. But yeah, anyway... Whenever I talk about Stray, too, I think of the fucking, uh... Do you remember that anime Wolf's Rain? I fucking... I, like, I never really liked that anime. My friend Matt used to watch it all the fucking time when I was at his place. So I would, like, kind of, like, half pay attention. 
Oh, but then, like, that's the theme song from Wolf's Rain would get stuck in my head all the fucking time. Because the theme song fucking slaps. I just, I couldn't get into the actual show. Oh, yeah, Victor Martinez, thanks for the five. So the Resident Evil 4 remake comes out on your 26th birthday in 2023, and I have yet to have played the original. Is the PC port the best way to play? No. No. Clearly not. If you have, like, if you have any other console, like, if you can get it on the fucking the PlayStation Store or some shit, I would recommend doing that instead. Unless, the thing is, though, if you want to play mods, though, I want to play mine. I guess if you want to just play it, not stream it, go ahead. Yeah, people do say, like, the HD mod on PC is amazing. It's just that fucking, uh... The, the, the vanilla... I feel like they probably fixed some of the problems with the frame rate in the HD mod, too. Let me just, you know... Let me get it a little closer now, so I'm going to be mouse and keyboarding the shit. Um, oh my god. Fucking Naked HD girls are back. Let me just, uh... Make, a, make an Instagram story. Very important. Gotta get all our bases covered. Let's do a purr. Yes, is live. YouTube. Uh, I typed in urube.com. This sounds like, like some like sad fruits basket music or something. They're making a new fruits basket, aren't they? Or am I thinking of something else? For some reason, I remember hearing like a, about a new fruits basket. Which low-key, like, I, I feel like you wouldn't expect that, but I really enjoyed fruits basket back in the day. Like, that was... That was a... Really, really nice story. You know, the, you, you, you gotta sit down and watch fruits basket and get, get a little sad with the boys. <laughs> Oh, Mosh Bear, how is my tour with Born of Osiris and Vale of Meyer? Oh, by the way, thanks for the one space rat. Vo like, Vale of Meyer and Born of Osiris, I love, that might be, like, honestly, like, probably just in terms of just, like, hangouts and shit, might be, like, the most fun I've had on tour. Like, those guys fucking party. Like, I already knew Mark. Um, we actually... I worked on some stuff with Mark that's not out yet, but you'll, uh... Eventually, you'll hear it. Like, Mark's the- well, Mark was already the fucking homie. But then, like, all those dudes, we just, like, clicked so well instantly. Um, everyone in that tour package, for that matter. Victims, Hunter Dinosaur. But yeah, like, Born of Osiris and Vale, they can fucking party. And it's funny, too, because, like, the tour we did before that, Attila- we was with Attila, so everyone was like, oh, Attila, those guys are crazy, right? They fucking- they're getting, like, getting out and getting fucked up every night, blah, blah. No, like, they'll, like, hang out and stuff, but Vale and Born like, go in every fucking night. It's like, I don't, like, that tour probably took years off my fucking life, and it was worth it. Oh, this... Give me that tail. Don't touch me, I'm touching you. This, yeah, I've never played this before. I literally just downloaded it. But yeah, so it was a fun tour. Um, the shows were the shows were all solid too. Like it's like it's hard when you're like when you're like the opening band of five bands. It's such a different vibe. Like you're playing, you're on stage, and like the lights are like it's still light outside, which I haven't done in fucking years. But it was cool. I was like worried. Because we were playing so early that a lot of the shows, um, like, we'd be playing and, like, the room would be empty and people still filing in. And for the vast majority of the shows, that wasn't the case. Yeah, 
Yeah, like, see, like, yeah, the issue with Resident Evil 4 is definitely an optimization issue, because I look, like, this is like a game, this game came out, like, yesterday. No problem, no fucking frame drops, look, um, full graphics, we're whooshing everywhere. As opposed to Resident Evil, which came out, it was like a 15-year-old game. Can I jump? I'm gonna look, let me look at the controls. Run. Meow. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna control this game. There we go. He's sitting. I don't want to. I, I guess I had to sleep. Oh wow, I forgot I had whiskey in that cup. <laughs> I was expecting straight fucking coffee and oh, it was like, oh shit. Yeah, this is a controller game. I can I can tell. I felt I thought it was going to be like a mouse and keyboard type deal, but Speaking of furries, there was, um, I don't know if any of you guys watch Bernie TX, I don't remember if the channel is like Bernie Vids or Bernie TXT, but Bernie, I don't know if you guys watch Bernie, they just had the, um, the video about the Tiny Toon Stalker, it was a really good fucking video. Possibly the, my favorite thing that Bernie's made, but there's this one site that, that they came across on the making the video it was it, it came up in the video but it was like more of a me topic than a bernie topic so they sent it over to me and it was have you ever seen the picture of there's a guy in a hawaiian shirt fat guy in a hawaiian shirt um fat guy in a hawaiian shirt that uh holding an uzi getting married to minerva minx but it was on the same website, just the story of that furry wedding and Tiny Toons animators getting pissed off about it. <laughs> Damn, I really just sat there and made cat noises at my fucking screen playing the cat game. Oh, Church of Fudge. Pokemon's Master. Church of Fudge was a uh, another one that I was like going to mention in that whole situation of the uh, the videos that uh, like I don't think I can make like a full video on them, but there might be something for like a compilation or some shit like that. This is stray. Oh, so this is the kind of game we're gonna be we're gonna be using our minds. Solve puzzles. Or maybe not. I'm I'm playing this game like a game where I'm like I'm looking around for items and shit. I feel like this cat doesn't have an inventory. I'm not going to be missing too many collectibles here. But yeah, also like there's after I was looking at the video at the um the furry wedding article, the guy getting married to Minerva Minx. Uh, it, uh, like there's like a protest from the Tiny Toons animators or something about it. Um, oh, that's dirty. We're gonna get fucking parasites. You kidding me? Watch, watch, watch me get parasites now. Oh, 
all this like stuff up too. Um, did this restore my health? <laughs> um, so yeah, after the fucking, uh, I'm looking through the, uh, the furry wedding thing. Apparently there's a whole fucking, uh, the full video of the proposal. Apparently, like, there's a furry convention a year before the, uh, the Minerva Wings wedding where the guy fucking, he proposed to, um, a fursuit Minerva Minx, and then they had the the wedding at whatever fucking furry convention it was. You can watch the full video of the wedding and the proposal on YouTube. And then uh, where the story ends up after that is long story short. Hold wait, hold X to chain jumps. Oh, I see. Oh, I thought it was intended for. Uh, the uh, little thing I was on, which didn't make sense. But yeah, long story short, the guy who married Minerva Minx is on lifetime probation and got 10 years in jail for having massive amounts of child porn on his computer. I believe he comes out of prison next year. Yeah, there's like that was a big yada 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 in there, huh? <laughs> you can watch the full video of him getting married to Minerva Minx on YouTube, and then he goes to jail for child porn. I don't know, a big, a big fucking shocker there. Big shocker there. The, th the problem with that one though, I it's one of those things where it's a pretty crazy story, but. I don't know if a video on the topic will be fully interesting enough to, like, do the whole video. I could probably make it work somehow. Arr, nar! They're just fucking standing there? Idiots? Oh, I, so like this game then, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna be getting my revenge on the cats who left me to die, right? That's the point of this game? Oh, I'm limping. I can't meow. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. I thought I was stuck on something, but I was just falling over dead. Laura Scrimshaw, thanks for the five. Cassidy, we're just getting started. Basically, I ran around, meowed a bit, and then the cats that I was playing with watched, left me to die. Just watched me fall off a cliff, and here we are. I walk it again. That looked collectible. Missed jump. Oh damn, it closed after me. I didn't get all the items. Dead the city.
Yeah, this is Resident Evil 4. I don't know, like, what kind of, uh, fucked up mod this is, but... Honestly, it kind of looks like that area in Resident Evil 6. That one fucking... Oh, these are like fake rats. Why are you guys shiny? These are like those 9-11 rats that they used to fucking... They hooked... They like took rat brains. And they hooked them up to a fucking uh, computer parts. So the rats then could go inside the 9-11 rubble. And, uh, and, and find dead people. Or people who are alive still even. This is true. I 100% I sounds like I just made that up as like a, a fake thing to have something to talk about, but that actually happened. I think. I might be confusing with something else. It might have been in like fucking Iraq or something. But I'm pretty sure it was like a 9 11 rats they fucking used to find people. Oh, I can't jump up there because the spikes will impale me. Follow me. Oh, there's like secret fucking underground railroad of cats to guide me to freedom. Oh, wait, I got a. Alright, so I got a bucket. Is there a water? I hear water dripping. Hold on to this. We've got to collect water somehow. This feels like I'll die if... I feel like this is going to kill me. I don't know if you can die in this game. Okay. Oh, the bucket broke. I would have died had I not had the bucket. Or it just wouldn't let me do that. Okay, you can die. I'm gonna save those. Maybe I'll do something with them later. Or maybe not. This is called Stray Jackson's here. <laughs> Who is this cat telling me to follow him? Is it gonna talk to me? Is this gonna, it's gotta be like a robot cat or something, right? Because I saw the robot mice. Oh, you get an achievement from me, I want. Right. Get some fucking water. I feel like there's gonna be a thing that lets us customize it, McJack. Because I was thinking the same thing. Like, I don't necessarily. I don't know that I want to be an orange cat. I want to have. Who knows? I don't know what kind of cat I want to be, but. They just kind of put me out here. Without make me be orange. It's got to be a custom cat. It's probably you know what? I bet it's something you gotta like. You probably gotta beat the game, and then they give you a custom. Nah, actually, I probably wouldn't like let it go like that far to the end. It's probably 
I'm, there's no way they're not going to let us customize this. It's just going to happen later. Uh-oh, is this... Boss battle? Oh, there's just no customize option, Mosh. Damn. That's like some shit, some shit a real cat would do, just getting caught in that fucking box. You get to wear little pins you collect throughout the game, but other than that, no customization. Okay. I knew there had to be some kind of collectible in this. Okay, so I guess... Oh, no! That was some sneaky shit. Dodge him. Oh, oh, oh. What, I feel like they're like Metroids sucking me. Fucking weave, weave, weave. Oh shit! Oh, and I got my ass. See that arrow made me think it was gonna be like a turn around that fucking gate there. Yo, why the robots trying to kill the cat, though? That got me the last time. God damn. Dasa, your messages aren't showing up on the screen for some reason. I don't know. They, um, I can see them. They're not like showing up as like filtered. I don't actually wait. I have it opened up on the um. I don't know. I have it like on the uh, what should we call it? The the OBS thing that I'm looking at. It does have it so that it's uh, it doesn't show me which messages are filtered. So I don't know if it's showing up or not, but I can see it. So I gotta keep me out for the achievement. Thanks, one sprite. Yeah, knock that shit down.
Damn, I kind of wanted to jump through the fucking basketball hoop. I can't, I guess. I can't, can't pick the ball up? No. It's also an achievement for taking a one hour cat nap. Is it like literally like you gotta like walk away for an hour or something like that? I hate those kinds of achievements. Meow at the camera. Let's see how close we can get to it. Am I an achievement hunt there? No. See, the thing about achievements, when I had, um, when I had first gotten Xbox 360, I was all about my fucking achievements. Every single one, I was like, 100%ing so many fucking games. Even like, I 100%ed I Dead Rising, which was, had like a lot of like, real pain in the ass fucking challenges. But then what happened was, after, after Xbox 360, I got PS4, so then it's like, there's no way for you to combine your fucking, uh, at least no way that anyone cares about. They got that website to like aggregate them all, but there's no way to combine your your trophies and your Xbox achievements, or for that matter now like your fucking Steam shit. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So there's like there's no meaningful way to combine. Your achievements and shit, so it's like it. It felt like the whole thing was futile at that point. This seems like a thing where I was like, it's probably like a way for me to like jump up or something, and I'm not realizing. Camera watching me and whatnot. Roll the barrel from the inside. Yeah, like the light bulbs, it's like definitely like. It might be like one of those situations where it's like the thing to like jump up on something isn't like popping up right. Oh, right, there we go. That's the fucking uh, the meowing thing. Inside the barrel and walk it over. This concept is Reddit mode. Watch out, guys. We've got an epic, cool guy. Future reference, don't, don't like, especially like a puzzle based game like this, like don't tell me what the solutions are. Can we like not drop down here? Oh, it's too big of a fall. I feel like a cat can make that fall.
play the werewolf game next. What's the werewolf game? Resident Evil 8? Honestly, I'm kind of hyped for that Resident Evil 8 DLC. And what's cool, too, so I saw, like, they are adding new characters for mercenaries. How can I not knock this one down? Um, I saw that they were adding new games for, uh, new characters for mercenaries, and I was kind of thinking, like, oh, like, what's the point of that if you can't, like, see what character you're doing anyway? But they are adding, like, a third-person mode, which makes that whole situation make a lot more sense. And then I think, um, you, there's like a mode in the DLC where you play as, what's her face, the fucking daughter. Like, honestly, I enjoy Resident Evil 8, I like Resident Evil 7 too, but I cannot bring myself to give a fuck about Ethan Winter's fucking family. Like, I don't know, like, those characters just did not connect with me on any level. Like, the gameplay was fun in them, I just do not give a shit about the stories in those games, or the characters. Zero investment in them. Oh yeah, Scorn looks cool as fuck. Yeah, like... If you had... They're, they're bland. That's like, this is what it is. Like, if you had, like... Had me, like, describe, like, Ethan as, like, a person at all, right? Like, oh, he's... He's a fucking guy. His hand keeps getting fucked up. Okay. Has anyone told me that I look just like Dave Grohl? Uh, I've I've gotten like that a couple times. Obviously, like, usually what I get is Steve Aoki. Actually, what was fucking funny? Like I was out a couple nights ago, and one of my friends, like she took a picture with me, um, at, at the bar. Like we like just like took like a a photo, like whatever fucking Instagram story shit. But then, I guess, like, some random dudes at the bar, like, saw us taking a picture. So, like, they thought that was, like... I, I guess they had been trying to figure out if I was Steve Aoki. And then seeing someone take a picture be, picture with me made them think, Oh, this guy is famous, so he must be Steve Aoki. And, like, they asked. I haven't had that happen in a long fucking time. Where someone, like, not as a joke, really thought I was Steve Aoki. Wait, what did I pick up? So, oh, it's like a battery type thing. We're gonna plug something in. The flat. Oh, did I lose my fucking battery? Oh, I see. I just needed to unplug it. I, I thought I need to like put the battery elsewhere and we're gonna do like a whole... I was overthinking the puzzle. I'm sure it's going to be something like that later. <laughs> Yo, I'm typing as a cat. <laughs> Yo. Um, body or body. Or, hell yeah. <laughs> There's a real cat simulation now. No, you can't custom. Oh. I feel like there's probably like something we can, if we could do this precisely enough to type, we could do something else. 
There's probably there's got to be some kind of Easter egg with that. Maybe we'll find out at a later time. What? Stop doing what? What am I doing? Oh, I'm, scr I'm just scratching the carpet. That's it. What's funny, too, so, I don't know if any of you guys, f I don't know, I don't want to do that. I don't know if any of you guys follow me on TikTok, but I had a few, like, TikTok promos pop up, and one of them was, there's this fucking virtual Steve Aoki concert that they had me promote. I have no fucking idea if the reason I was picked to promote it was just because, like, I had a bunch of TikToks get a ton of views, or... If it's because they're like, yo, this guy looks like Steve Aoki. Have him promote the fucking concert. I don't know. But regardless, then the obvious fucking angle was like, hey, Steve Aoki's about to play a virtual concert. I'm not Steve Aoki, but it's Steve, <laughs> Steve Aoki, Steve Aoki. Well, I can't type on these. Fucking bullshit. Exactly. Oh, we're pulling out more. Shutting it down. <laughs> play the Jeopardy game for the Nintendo Wii. I'd rather play the Jeopardy game for the NES. Actually, no, it would be a good fucking, good fucking stream. Family Feud. That was one of my fucking, if you watch like the old shitty gameplay videos that I have on the channel. I w oh, okay. Now we're help computer. Take this one. We take that one. Well, I don't think we need these. We gotta figure out where the others is. Oh, no, like this one, huh? Oh, wait, I see. Oh, we're plugging all of them in. Oh my god, Bayou Billy, that came so fucking bad. Sometimes I'll use music from Bayou Billy. Well, not music in general. Like, a co like There's like one or two songs that I'll use from time to time from Bayou Billy. In fucking videos, but goddamn, that game sucks ass. It's so bad. Oh, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Yo, what up, two salads? Yeah, the game's pretty cool. We're just kind of getting... This is still a, like, pretty early in the game. Seal, was I ever in Germany? I was in Germany. Um, I was on tour there with one of my old bands. We played three different cities in Germany, I think. We played Berlin, played Cologne. Um, I think we played Dusseldorf. Germany, I actually really like Germany. I feel like, honestly... Of all of Europe, I feel like Germany had the best food. Pretty consistently. Like, what I really loved that, like... I felt like the quality of the bread in Germany was the best. What? Oh, I thought I, like, ate something. What is this? Why did this have, like, a gushy sound when I picked it up? Is that, like, an alien brain? What is this? What does that say? But yeah, like, they had, like, I feel like they had the best bread over there. Maybe there was this one night in Switzerland when there was, like, a bread factory across the street from the venue. And then someone who worked there just brought us mad bread after the fucking show. That was really good. Um, but in general, like, 
I feel like Germany had the best bread, and then you get like the doner kebab with the fucking that qu like quality fucking German bread. That shit was fucking, and it was like that good everywhere. What was it? Let me take a better look at this globular ass shit that I got here. Oh, is that angry computer guy? It's all pointing down at... Oh, that's it. We gotta scan that shit. Yeah. And honestly... People think, like... British food being trash is like a fucking meme. I don't know. Like, granted, I was only in the UK for like a couple days, but I feel like all the food I had everywhere else in Europe shit over everything I had in the UK. That's what. Like, I mean, I had like a. The one, I had, there was like a burger and fries at a bar that was decent, but it was like as good as any other bar food I've had. And then what else did I have? I think I had like some like it's like some chicken that was like not great. Uh, one night we went out for like Thai food. And it was like the blandest Thai food I ever had in my fucking life. Oh, what's going on? Here? It worked. I'm free. Thank you. I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. I'm... I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I work for a scientist. Scientist in yellow, so that means it's important for us to look for him. Who lived here. For now, call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. It's dangerous in the dead city. But you seem like you know how to handle yourself. Let's get out of here. Follow me. Uh oh, is we got it's like fucking like fucking Dinklebot. Alright, you know I'm a, a cat. I don't speak English, right? Done killed me. Broke his fucking spine. I thought I really fucking passed out. This back are oh, you calling me pussy? Is this on oh. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack? Oh, I do get an inventory. Yep, that's a key, alright. To my memories. Senses detecting data. What? Memory data at proximity. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Best cat impression. Oh, you missed it. You were here for the cat impression. The involuntary cat impression just fucking happened before. You missed it. It is written. I hope this will work. Let me uh, take a look at this fella here. I mean, 
door should be able to get it open. Seizure time. Um, we could do like so. We we can uh, stingray. We can like turn the flashlight on. We can get a little little summary of what to do from the guy. Read that. Let's fucking get out of here. It's an engineering engineering degree. It belonged to the scientist I worked for. And the cat's like, nah, we ain't going back. Work. All right. Wow, batteries not included. That's a fucking throwback. They used to play that shit on fucking. I think it was like. Fucking Channel Eleven all the time over here. The cat's like, nope. Actually, wait, let me take a better look at this guy. Might have the UBI soft version of it on my PC. I don't know, I just got like whatever version is on Steam. Well, let's do it. yet. I'm gonna find the code. Alright, so this this game is like a little different from what I thought it was gonna be. I thought we were like literally just gonna be like running around doing cat stuff, but now it's become like a whole thing where we got the robot helping the cat do people stuff. I don't think it's supposed to be a hard game. Alright, what is it? Code... Three, seven, four, eight. Hey, yo, it's the fucking big city where it's always nighttime. I looked like it was gonna be light outside, but well. Elevator in the distance, that's important, I think. I know we need to go up. I kind of hate that at the end of dialogue, it's like you're pressing square to cycle through the dialogue, and the last one you have to press circle to exit it. That's a weird choice, I don't know why that is. Oh, we're, there's gonna be like fleshy things and stuff. There's like some kind of globular overgrowth. The Zerg Creep. Fuck, I could play some StarCraft right now. Like orig original StarCraft. Vanilla. Feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? Thanks, Trash Can King. Go do what you gotta do. Promised someone I would go there. Promise to? This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. Gain new item. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Oh, 
Okay. Let's take a look at that memory here. Oh, that is, it's just the pulse score. I thought we were going like, to look at his memory or something. Wait, so can we, like, get the vague, uh... Oh, no, wait. No, wait, wait, yeah. I remember the outside feels like I've been there before. And the others just ain't there. Damn, someone said Master Chief origin story. I can go for some fucking Halo, too. I was really getting into fucking... I don't know, I had gotten the Master Chief collection. I was really fucking enjoying just play, playing, like, Halo 1 multiplayer. Or, like, whatever, like, the first batch of it was, but then I fell off of it. And then the newer Halo, um... I forgot what the fuck it's even called. I liked... The, uh... I was enjoying it, but then it was, like... They kept on giving you, like... There was, like, when it, when it was out at first, there was, like, one playlist. And I just kept on getting nothing but fucking oddball. And there was no way to just, you know, pick what kind of maps you wanted. Or, you know, or, like, just pick Slayer, which is what I really wanted to do. So I just stopped playing it. I know, like, now, was, like, now the game is actually out. It's like they got that all situated. Oh, you can spin in the bucket. Good call. Oh, no. Get off of me. Metroids. Oh, oh. Is that a... I thought that was like a zombie over there. It's a fucking TV head guy. Like fucking, uh... Are you... Oh, you're not friendly. Like fucking the TV guy from fucking um Oh shit, what the f No the other cats uh they like they left me fall to my death. So now I'm here with the robot instead. But yeah, like the TV guy, like I just thought of Saga from that shit for a second. Prince from Saga. Damn, when the fuck is Saga coming back from hiatus? I, I keep on saying it's coming, but yo, why is that TV head guy got the Chinese hat? They gave him the Chinese hat because he's like the smart one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. FLCO got the fucking TV head guys too. Oh, he's gonna. He's about to do some shit. Look at him just standing there menacingly. speak fucking muzzy. No, I was talking about Saga. Is a blade. Je suis la gratitude. It's called muzzy. As long as you don't eat anyone. I guess not a boss fight. This is the official... We're about to go to an RPG-style village. We're gonna buy some armor. Some swords. Oh, Okami with cats. That seems like a good way of putting it. What up, Manic Hispanic? That's a picture of outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that it's impossible to leave the place. Well, except the outsiders. Oh shit, they got Scott Hall and Kevin Nash in this game. Let's go. 
You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives high up in that building with the orange neon sign. Hell, he lives in the... the those cyberpunk Chinese building letters. Oh, X Rattlehead. So... So I did have that Spanish language channel. It's kind of... It's about to be made obsolete, though. Because there's this thing that's been rolling out. I don't have it yet. But... Well, let's do this first. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. But before we go in, I want to take a look around. But yeah, so... I had the Spanish language channel. It's still there. I was like pretty much just like paying a dude to do voiceover for it. I realized I had fucked up though because what I had done was I promoted it to my regular audience, which is a mistake because like you know most of my regular audience is, speaks English. So what happens then is I send the Spanish language channel, they uh, look at it and immediately click at uh, they look at a curiosity, then immediately click away, which will kill something in the algorithm, and it's basically like getting served to very few people who actually want to watch a video in Spanish. So... Oh, remember. Remarkable. Companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Oh! Talk about... Dali and all that shit. And they go, they become the fucking Chinese hat guy. <laughs> what do you got there? Oh, this is like a little secret room there. Don't hesitate to call me anytime. Just look at But yeah, so I realized I did. I sh if I were to make a channel in another language, I would. Oh, yeah, it just it tells me what he already said. Alright. It would make sense to just, like, not promote it and let it kind of go through the algorithm the way it's going to naturally. But, it, YouTube's been testing out this new translation AI. Not a lot of people have it, um, right now. But, pretty much, it'll, like, it will take the audio from your video and translate it into Spanish. And just automatically make a voiceover that sounds pretty fucking good. Like, I don't speak Spanish enough to know how good the translation is, but it sounds like they're speaking good Spanish in it. From the one, from what I've seen. Not everyone has it, but they roll that shit out, and it's gonna be where... Rather than ha You could, like, download it and make a separate channel for different languages, but what you could do with it, too, is... Like, you know how, like, you go to a YouTube video, and you have, like, the closed captions and all those options? What you could do is... You, um, it'll just pop up as an option to, like, listen to the video in Spanish or English. And eventually whatever fucking other languages they have. So, the whole, uh, task of making other language YouTube channels that I was about to start on has gotten a little obsolete. I'm just gonna wait for that technology. Please don't bother Vapor. She's so clumsy. Talk with me, though. Hey, get up, you lazy bum. I want to see the real sky one day. <laughs> Yo, Rattlehead watched the old school fucking, uh, me trying to learn languages videos. If I'm like, Yo, honestly, that might be fun to do on as a stream one day. I feel like that'll be a good one. <laughs> yeah, what's funny is too, like, so I'm like reading like the, the, the useful, uh, Spanish, the useful Spanish phrases. But like, I don't speak Spanish, so like, I'm... Like, I guess, like, mimicking how I hear people emphasize words. So, like, what was the one you put in the, uh, in the chat? 
Let me find it again. Fuck. Oh yeah, Rattlehead. My favorite Spanish wine quote is Tienes que ponerte el contacto con la FAP. <laughs> Yo, FAP. Oh, wait. Oh, he's taking a nap? Is this the nap achievement? Uh, while the cat is napping, I'm going to take a leak, get another drink. See, if I really wanted to be a pro streamer, I, what I should have done when I went for that little pee break, what I should have done, like the real pro streamer move, I should have like opened up someone else's video and just let it run for a little bit. That's why I'm never going to be, uh, never going to be at the top of my game because I don't leave other people's videos to stream. Yeah, right here I got some seltzers and I got... I don't think it'll come to focus because I haven't set the face focus, but actually my face ain't in focus yet either, so I didn't like didn't stare at it off here. There we go. Clear. But it's Suntory. No, I get I gave up on Resident Evil 4. What I might do is if I really want to play Resident Evil 4, um, what I might do is like the PS4 connect, like I used to. That might be the move. Because this is clearly like, it's not, not good for a stream. This is fine though. Man, I gotta get my fucking little, uh, Little streak touched up. The roots are, are way deep in there. Oh yeah. Time to stop a sleeping. Oh, someone had asked before if I was more of a cat person or a dog person. I definitely... To show him the item. Look at this. I like how they all kind of talk like Charlie Brown teachers. Just me putting those Twitter thoughts on that. We got it, man. Actually, what was so funny, I like retweeted like 
like, uh, what's her fucking face? American Aussie. Retweeted her a bunch of times, and then someone, like, scented, like, her, like, a fucking, uh, crazy-ass fucking message about how, like, Wang only gives you attention because you're, you're a whore. And you're gonna fucking wind up dead in a motel, prostituting yourself out, stabbed to death, or some shit like that. It's like, damn, dog. Someone's like, someone out there is, like, really pressed that I, like, didn't retweet him. And that, that's his fucking, like, his fucking Batman villain arc. Uh, not so much. Don't look there. I want to show you the postcard. Hey, yo, fuck a Mito. I got your Mito righty. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we don't got like enough like fucking Guido talking characters in video games anymore. That's like, that, originally, originally, that was, um, there's an interview with Charles Martinet, that's the name, right? The guy with the Super Mario's voice. He was talking about how when he first was trying to come up with the, the voice he was going to give Mario, he wanted to give him, like, a fucking Guido mobster kind of fucking voice. But then it didn't fit the character, so now he's all like, wahoo wee -hee. I would have, like, much preferred, like, even, like, Captain Lou Albano, that's my fucking, to me, that's the perfect Super Mario. They nailed it right at the beginning, and then just let it all go to the wayside. I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Oh. Why do you care? You're a robot. Damn, I guess it's like a person, right? I'm like, alright. It's like, alright, so like, he's a robot, so like, why should he care about the mess on his porch? But it's like... Oh, just because I'm a human? Why should I care about a mess on my porch? How am I different from the robot? Wait, did they put out Chris Pratt's fucking Mario voice? I'm sure he's just gonna talk like himself. And it's gonna be so jarring. So, oh, we're gonna clean it for him. Yeah, what an idiot. Cause it's like... Wait, so this is what we gotta do here, right? Use this. Right? Oh, never mind. I thought we were going to clean it up for him. But we stole his sh On top of him having a mess in front. <laughs> oh, we can just keep on doing this? But on top of him fucking having this big mess. Now we stole his detergent, too. Doing cat things. Looking for sheet music to play guitar. Fucking nerd. Let's get some guitar pro tabs. Use your ear. You know what video game movie sucked that I kinda liked? Double Dragon. I don't know what it was about that fucking movie. I rented it from Blockbuster. It was like, it was such a shit adaptation. And I, I feel like compared to other games of its time, Double Dragon had more of a story than other NES games. Or, you know, arcade games or any of that shit. And then they were just like, did whatever the fuck with the movie. But it, I enjoyed the movie. Humans were first residents. 
What do you think it feels like being gay? I know it's silly coming for me, but are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry. I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. What a cool topical game. Kirby Mom. Thanks for the 10. I am having a lovely night. Oh, we got we got something. Did we? Oh, it just fucking broke. A bunch of bullshit. I thought I was gonna get like a soda or something. Oh, oh wait, it just popped up. Never mind, it did. It just popped up a little far. Someone's gonna want that energy drink. Energy drink speed 2K. Can I use this? Oh, I don't know why, but the robots in the slums seem to use that as some kind of currency. This sounds like some kind of monster, whatever it is. Is that something getting dragged? What the fuck? So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday today, right? The time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. It's very pretty. It'd be nice if it was real. Oh, he's a fucking outside truther. I bet some people would pay a lot for a full super spirit bottle. I've heard that the barter man is looking for stuff like, let's find the barter man. Hell yeah. I, I don't know why I'm so amused by the thing, by, by the reason that, by the fact that this guy's called the barter man. Do the barter man. Thanks for the five, Rosie Cherub. Oh, someone asked me my thoughts on... Let me, let me see who it was. I think it's still on uh, the chat. Oh, uh, I moved by already. But the thoughts on... Ric Flair's last match. So, Alright, so Ric Flair... So, like, I think they did this thing where it's like... So, like, if you've been seeing posts where Ric Flair is training with Jay Lethal... Um... So, I kind of get back in shape for one last match... And they did this thing where it was like, Jay Lethal was going to appear on this podcast with Ric Flair, and he no-shows it. And apparently like the reason why he no-shows it is he's mad for not being included on the last, uh, on the event for the last pay-per-view. I mean, the, on the pay-per-view for the last match. Gets mad, no-shows the podcast. And it's like, obviously, like, knowing this, it's like, oh, like, is this, like, a work, or is he actually mad? Is it, like, actual drama? You know, it's a pretty cool way to approach it in, in, like, a modern kind of way. To have, to, like, try and, like, work wrestling fans, right? But then they put out this fucking, and, I'm, like, I'm in the minority when I think this looks tacky as fuck. A lot of people are, like, are loving it, like, this is how a wrestling stories should be told, blah, blah, blah. But they put out this, um, this cinematic fucking, uh, video of Ric Flair. He's walking through a parking lot, gets confronted by Jay Lethal, who, like, gets met, who's, like, confronts him about not including him on the pay-per-view. And eventually, like, Jay Lethal beats him up in the parking lot. And he, like, it's, like, the cheesiest fucking thing to me. The cheesiest fucking thing. Like, if at some point, he punches him in the belly, and Ric Flair's like, Ah, not my surgery. And he falls over. He's getting kicked in the head. And, like, it's it's a pre-shot thing. Like, shot with, like, multiple camera angles on a nice camera and whatnot. And you could see Ric Flair blade himself while yelling, That's the hard way. That's the hard way. Which, uh, you know, wrestling lingo, it means, like, someone getting bloody, not by blading themselves, but by getting, like, hit for real. He's yelling that. And then Jeff Jarrett comes out to fucking stop him. But then he gets in a confrontation with Ric Flair, too. And then it builds up to a fucking uh, a tag team match now with... Uh, it's got, I think it's uh, Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett versus Ric Flair and Andrade. So it's it's like whatever. It's like a... 
I'm sure it'll be fine for what it is, but that fucking that video they put out to me was like the cheesiest fucking thing. But pe I'll, most people seem to think it's amazing, so. Not my surgery. Okay. Let me show you the other things, though. Oh, he's gonna tell me the same things, isn't he? The Bard Man. Yo, imagine if you just like it's a fucking tag match with like it's n it's a standalone event, so, you know, there's like no long term consequences to it, and you just make him lose anyway. I mean, obviously, like it's like the way they did it, it's a tag team match, so ri I'm sure like on like Andrade is gonna be like doing the bulk of the work in that match. But I mean, oh, and even like there was like something like in the storyline too that kind of like didn't make sense. Where so like Jay Lethal, he's like, you know, he's like a fucking, he's he's been around. He's Jay Lethal. He's got a name. But then the in the terms of the storyline, Ric Flair like there's a shot a scene where he's explaining to him why he's not including them on the event, and he's like, oh, you know, like I got a lot of a lot of big big name guys on this. There's no room for you on here, you know. It's like I got a lot of big stars on it. And you're... Who are you? You're nobody. But then you look at what the actual card is. And it's like there's some names on it. But the overwhelming majority of the people on the card are like less fucking known than Jay Lethal. Which, I mean, obviously he's in the fucking main event. But then it kind of like... Story-wise doesn't make all that much sense. But, I mean, I, on some level, too, though, it is cool that they even, like, bothered to make a story at all. Because it's, like, it's the kind of thing where it could have very easily just been, like, Hey, here's a show with some matches on it. I'm probably not gonna watch it, though. I kind of... I don't really... Ha I'll probably... Like, if anything interesting happens, they'll be clips that wind up on Twitter. Remember. Are you dead? Hope this isn't the barter man. I need my energy drinks. Uh-oh. This poor guy also wanted to go up to the upper level. Midtown is up there. We have from all the garbage and sickness of the slums. We're divided by social class. Back then, a lot of people from the slums were prepared to do anything to move up there. Apparently, robots also copied this behavior. Well, they're they're just like us. In ways that are bad. Social commentary cat game, y'all. Well. Man, it's just the memory here. I can't, like, actually do anything, huh? Because it looked like I could like interact with all that stuff, but I don't think I can. I don't think it has a map. Oh, they're t talking in the fucking. I guess these are like bum robots. Oh, hell yeah, I can just fucking manipulate people by being by rubbing up against them. Now that I've greased the wheels a little bit. Don't dare leave our village. It's too dangerous. Besides, the Guardian is the only one who can open this door. I 
I left them in the streets, and the next day, the Zerks had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They eat everything. How about this postcard, Zack? Damn, he's, an he's another fucking outside truther. Damn, you know, it's- uh, I was thinking that, like, it's kind of cheap that they fucking- they, a lot of them repeat so much of the same dialogue for the items. But then I'm thinking, they're all AIs, right? So, I guess on some level, it's likely that they would be having, like, a similar or the same reaction to certain things. At least, at least that's a way to explain that away in-game. Get in that window. We got anything good in here? I can tell us something important in here because uh, we got different. The music changed. jump at the pile of dirty clothes. Or rags, I guess. The robot, the robot's sweating them. Clementine's notebook. Four of four. Oh, so there's like collectibles here and I missed th four, three of the four. Strange notebook with a symbol on it. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They're in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. I don't know what this means, but it'll probably be useful later. We should go see that Momo person who told- who Guardian told us about. I can't type on this one here. Sheet- Oh, sheet music! That's what they were talking about. They needed that sheet music for the guitar. We just gotta immerse ourselves by making a little bit of a mess first before we do anything. Damn, this game kind of should have a map, though. Glendon Grant, if you say my username out loud, I promise to unleash maximum serotonin. Do it. You better fucking do it. Unleash that shit right now. Actually, I kind of, I went, I realized I went all the way around. Oh, actually, wait, Barterman is, Barterman is this way, huh? Oh, no, no, wait, no, I see. Barterman, laundry's that way. Grandma clothing. All right, so yeah, Barterman, I've got to go over here. What's up, Michelle? Scratch that. Oh, that's right. Logan Paul signed with WWE. I forgot about that. But I guess I mean, it makes sense. He fucking... He's such like a naturally hateable dude that he's fucking perfect for wrestling. And he does have that amateur background, so it might translate into something good, actually. You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. Alright, Joris. 
a drawer, so let's take a look at this fucking postcard. I bet some people pay a lot for that super spirit. You are everything that's gone wrong in this world. Hell yeah. Thanks for becoming a member, Scotty Boyo. Or for renewing it. Take care, dog. Really thought you'd take the elevator. I've never seen that thing work, and it'll be 374 years old tomorrow. Have you seen this? Damn, they don't believe the outside exists. thing up there yeah wake up oh they're meditating oh yeah yeah I feel like all these guys are gonna tell me the same things Up, up, up. You know what? The, the way they sound reminds me of this fucking um. What? What's? It, I don't remember what the fucking movie is. I don't think I never watched it. But I know it from a Brian Pepper's meme, the fucking piano teacher thing. Actually, I can't move on now until I fucking uh. Until I fucking find this now. It is I, your piano teacher. Let me see if I can find that YTMND. Brian Beppes. Brian Peppers. Piano. Yes, here we go. That YTMND up. The window capture going. Hmm. Get it? He can play himself. He's a fucking pervert. Sparky. Yeah, that's oh, from a movie. Sparky. But I never saw the fucking movie. I just know it from the Brian Peppers meme, but that's what these guys sound like to me. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones, that's us, the soft ones, left us this city. Our home is their legacy. Only our ancestors can distinguish these colors. It is said they once dominated the world. Oh, there's another one over there. The ancient stories speak of a natural light that leaked from a star and landed at our feet. This light caused warmth and well-being in our ancestors. It helped them to grow. So, let's look at the, that fucking uh, signage over there again. Let's see what's going where. Super Spirit. Grandma Clothes. Elliot Programming. Let's go. I think I went that way before I went before. So, let's go look around these alleys. Oh, no. That, yeah, that's what I fell down. Laundromat. 
Wait, okay. So the fucking, uh... The barter man is up there. And he's like up somewhere around. Ridiculous, sir. I thought because, like, you're special. Oh, Sparky's Magical Piano. That's what it's called? Thank you, Alan Sampson. Oh, there's the barter man. I guess tell him just by looking, looking at him, he's the barter man. Alright, he's Azuz. Instead of electric cable... Yep. Let's let's do it. Give me that electric cable. I need it. I don't know why, but I know I'm gonna need it. Three energy drink cans for that. Okay. Sheet music. Energy drink can. Let's take it. Oh, this is like this is funky. There's like some like another one bites the dust type shit. Kinda. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums has its threats and preparation is key. And look at this. I come across fake pictures like this sometimes, all talking about the outside. Beautiful dream, I guess. Ah oh, yes, everyone out here knows the symbols of the outsiders. Music sheet, I don't play an instrument. High quality cables. Grandma uses to craft her unique clothes. So I guess we should go to uh, Grandma's fucking store. Let me turn that off. Ace Attorney. Damn, you know what? I haven't played Ace Attorney in so fucking long. I feel like it might be fun to play some, like stream some of the ones I haven't played before. But then it's like I know it'll be mad annoying to play on stream because people just like give away the fucking answers to everything. Like even if you tell people not to, it'll just shit like that tends to be like unplayable on stream. Maybe you would like some energy drink for those plants. Okay, yeah, let's go to the clothing fucking area. The grandma's clothes. Okay, so this away. Damn. Oh, I guess like those fucking... The little fucking electric rats of the Zerks. Yiskmars. Thanks for the five. Love the content and the music man. Never donate, but I will for a CCS. For CCs, I truly enjoy. I'd appreciate it if you looked into my music, brother. Stay up. Thanks, Yiskmars. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, what have we got here? What do, what do AI robots get drunk on? Change from a... They had um... That's like that Spongebob type beat. The other one was the fucking uh, Star Wars Cantina type shit. Alright, this is good getting drunk with robots music. Jacob, you around here, what could I do you for? Nice picture of the outside. Momo is a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. His flat is all the way up the area. Look for an orange neon sign. Yeah, I feel like most of these things, like... 
they just kind of tell you the same stuff. Interested for some drink? I want to talk to him. I guess I can't talk to him because he's passed out. Drunk on who knows what. And there's some codes on the wall that may or may not have to do with something at some point. One. One, two, eight, three. Love equals seven. Oh, love equals seven. There's codes down there, too. We were, we're gonna be looking for a safe around here somewhere, huh? That's a space Korean written all over the place here. I can't knock that off. What kind of cat simulator is this? I can't knock that cup off the bar. Remember some shit over here with the robot. <laughs> the original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try so try not to be disrespectful with their ways? Yeah, yeah, get drunk, robot. Let's fucking go. Oh, he's not gonna do it. It's just like, should I? Yeah, he should. Oh. That's, uh... I wonder if something happens if I get them all in. I bet it's like... I bet it does an achievement or something if I get all the fucking balls in the hall. Really? What's gonna happen here? Nah, nothing happens. Didn't unlock any secrets for doing that. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level 2. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. What's that? Uh, beach? Never heard of that in my whole life. Yeah, any of the other stuff, I guess they're just gonna tell me the same shit. I thought I was, like, doing some kind of, uh... I thought I was gonna, like, bring down that fucking table or something, but I'm just scratching it. Best Jinx song with the last drop. Um, honestly, my favorite one is the one that... I think it's coming out next. It's the one we played on the fucking, uh... On the last tour. That's not out yet. Uh, there's probably like live videos or something of it around. I feel like there's gonna be a safe in here somewhere, but. Jacob, employee of the month. Hey, right, congratulations, Jacob. Assuming it's a safe in here somewhere. Right. Where the code might be. This honestly, like this setup here is making me want to play Fallout 3. Honestly, I I honestly I never played any Fallout mods. 
then might be like a fun thing to stream at some point. Just like some Fallout mods. Let's do like a. Another. Oh, wait, there's like a. Th okay, I see here. There's a whole like little like back alley shit over here. Okay. What just had me do a little loop around? Oh, is that uh, this grandma? Looks like, yeah, it looks. I was gonna say it looks like a grandma. Do I have any electric cable? Boy, do I have some electric cable for you. Do I like Fallout New Vegas as well? Uh, yeah, I feel like... Here's the thing about Fallout New Vegas. I feel like game-wise, in terms of gameplay and, like, the story of it and whatnot, I feel like Fallout New Vegas is the best one. But something about, like, the fucking location, I feel like the world, like, just, like, experiencing the world of that game, just, like, the setting is kind of, like, bland compared to the other ones. Like the it's there's a lot of stuff to do, but like but the like between places just feels empty. But it's definitely the best one. Thank you, my dear. I'll get to work right away. You know, give me an item. Oh my god, the fucking porn bots are back. To what end? Ah. The chat's got to catch up to it. At least, uh, like, the thing I'm looking at. Alright. Oh, I gotta... Can I, yo, can I wear the poncho? I'd be so mad if I can't wear the poncho. I can't. It's for a robot. Oh, not for a cat. Bonner Jose, thank you for the 10. Glad you're feeling less alone tonight. I was honestly, I was expecting this to be a shorter stream than it was, but now I'm like engrossed in this cat game. So, where is there a cold robot? We got what we needed from that. Grandma cloak. Oh, there was like that dragging sound. Oh, I remember being in this alley before and hearing that sound. Oh, is this going to be like a boss battle of some sort? I guess let's actually try to get to the fuck. Because I was just like going around like doing whatever side stuff there is around. Guardian said it was not the Zerks. Oh, I guess, like, whatever it is in here is up there.
back up high. Neon. There it is. Alright, now we've now we've done it like skip around like all the side bullshit. This is what I'm supposed to actually do. Yeah, this guy this guy's got like the special kimono. That's how we know he's special. He's a colorful man. Momo, it's never going to work. Well, I let them go. I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? I'll show you the outside, bro. Oh, they left. They got out there. That fucking transceiver. Doesn't work. Damn. Oh, so we gotta put together and they can talk to them, huh? Friends and I took our notes. Research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out here. Momo's notebook. He seems very sad, as indicated by the frowny face on his monitor. Check the notebook. I, I pushed the outsiders manifest though. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. They assigned Clementine, Zbaldazar, Doc, and Momo. Looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. We got one other notebook. Clementine's Momo's. Clementine's though she was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I have ever met. Oh, showing him that just kind of, uh, made it go away. The city has a cylindrical shape about 450 meters in diameter. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling, but I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Oh, is that a code written on the wall too? 8801. That's just the phone number that's been changed. I don't think that's going to factor into anything. I'm just going to scratch this, I bet, huh? Yeah, it's not going to... It always feels like you're going to push the door open, but it's just, it's just scratching. Outsiders. Oh shit, Curiosity killed the cat. The controls are all mangled now because I have a bag on my head. Oh, I thought it was going to help me out because I did that. But I just I threw it off my head. What are my thoughts on the game so far? It's pretty cool. It's not... I guess I didn't really know what to expect from the game. I wasn't expecting it to be like... Like this type of thing where... I didn't expect to be talking to people. But, you know. 
regardless, it's a pretty interesting concept. I like that it's like a puzzle game. Because you were going to have to have, like, something to do it. Everyone was like, oh, you there's a game where... All the viral clips, there's a game where you play as a cat. I kind of made it seem like you just, um... It's just a straight-up cat simulator. Was expecting a whole-ass story in a fucking world with AI robots. A world where a Dali Mini becomes sentient. And wants to see the outside, and you got outside truthers who don't believe that the outside exists. What was the scientist's name? I don't know how long I'm gonna plan on playing. Until I don't feel like it no more. Urgen. Problem. is gonna be. It's definitely gonna be like some kind of thing that fucking whatever the, whatever the robot's deal is or, or whoever the scientist is I guess is gonna be some kind of big reveal. Yeah. The cat is from the outside. Like that's where we, we start the game on the outside where like the robots like don't think it's a real place. But we can't tell them that because we're a fucking cat. Okay, so, alright, that's what we gotta do, we gotta be looking for, uh, that, uh, that logo right there. With the, the big, uh, open mouth with a little, like, red cummy dripping out of it. Oh, it literally just showing us where to go. Our way to that one. There's another one over there. Yeah, this is the one we already got the notebook from. There's, uh, a few more. This, I think the game was like 30 bucks. Yeah, I already did this one. Wait, what is that? Oh, more sheet music. Damn, all that sheet music is going to be hard to find because it kind of like... It makes a little sound when you walk over it, at least. But it all kind of like doesn't look like anything. Damn, you know what? Like, kind of, it's a weird thing to say, but this is kind of putting me in the mood for like a Zelda game or something. Well, I, I haven't like really sat down with a Zelda game for a long fucking time. Like, the last one was that game. It was uh, a 3DS game, I think. That was like, uh... No, I think it was a Switch game. That... It was basically like a... A different version of Link to, a pa Link to the Past. A Link Between Worlds, I think it was called. That one... That was like the last one that I really played. Did that Outsiders? And then there's one like to the left.
There it is. This is uh, James Gallo. This is Stray. The game where you play as a cat. Oh, there's another fucking uh, vending machine. Essentially, this game is kind of just like a series of collectibles. Oh, it's got to use that TV remote, of course. Will it work? Yeah, I think good if I keep fucking with it. The SWAT Cats theme song, actually. Someone had suggested that when I made the post about like what I should do, the SWAT Cats theme song. The SWAT Cats theme song actually kind of fucked. Like that, that's one that I might actually do. But like probably like the most metal. TV theme song from that era is the King Arthur and the Knights of Justice fucking song. Uh, I was hoping, like, that would be, uh, I would be able to destroy the scout a little bit more. Good old damage. There's also a King Arthur and the Knights of Justice game that I heard it was fucking terrible. I remember being really hyped on it when I used to see it in magazines, because I love that cartoon. But it had like kind of like an overhead view. It almost it kind of made me think of like Dragon Force a little bit. The game. Fuck, that's a game I should stream actually. Dragon Force for Sega Saturn. Like that was that might have been the best game on Saturn. And then Dragon Force 2 came out, but it fucking, it never, uh, never got an official translation. I don't even know if it has a fan translation. But Dragon Force was cool as fuck. Actually, what I'm curious about, I wonder, I, I, now I'm like fucking mutuals with Herman Lee on a few things. I should ask him if he got, like, the name of Dragon Force from the fucking game. I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Oh, we got keys to the dock safe. Chest librarian. All right. Actually, so like when fucking um, when Herman Lee followed me on TikTok, like the first thing he does, he sends me a message. He's just like, "Hello, fellow Steve Aoki." One of the most fucking surreal messages I ever got in my fucking life. Oh, oh. What we got? What is this? Oh, Doc's notebook. There we go. So there's one more notebook to get. Nah, Ant Man channel. Dragon Force isn't for Lord of the Rings nerds. You know what fucking power metal band is for, uh, is for fucking Lords of the Rings nerds. Rhapsody. Rhapsody of Fire now, because I think they got, like, fucking sued or something, had to change the name. But Rhapsody is good-ass fucking band. I fucking love Rhapsody. Yeah, there's a whole, like, a, like a Steve Aoki is like a, it's like a class you can pick if you're born Asian. There's many, there's many such cases. You got fucking, you got me, you got Herman Lee, you got Sean Lennon. There's another Steve Aoki. You got fucking, um, well, there's another, Mr., remember Mr. Chan Chan? That fucking dude that, like, he was on Twitch. I, I don't know if he still streams or not. I haven't seen him do anything recently. Oh, we, we're, we can use a lamp to warp the Zerk. He would, like, whenever he would get, like, a raid, he would fucking do this dance where, like, he spins around on his fucking knees on the floor. He went super viral with that a couple years ago, and I kind of didn't hear him that much anymore. Mr. Chan Chan. I don't know what happened to him. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. Okay. 
Please come. Read one more. All right. Got to find the last one. Look at the abandoned flats of the area. Should be able to see them all from the rooftops. All right. So, oh, I see. Like, I guess that's the last one up there. All the way across. Oh, Mr. Chan Chan, he streams PUBG now? Fuck, I haven't thought about that game in forever. Honestly, like, thinking about it, like... I never really got, like, super duper into PUBG. But, like, the thought of playing PUBG again got me a little, uh... I was like, damn, that might be kind of fun to play PUBG. I haven't touched that game in fucking, like, probably, like, four years. I, like, has anyone has anyone played PUBG recently? Like, is it one of those games where it's just like they did a bunch of shit to it and now it feels like nothing like the way it used to? It's, I feel like there's been like a lot of cases of that in recent years. Granted, there were a lot of things they could have done to it to uh, like a few like quality of life type dealies. So I guess I'm going to have to... Is there a bucket over here, maybe? Like, we can break it like the last time? Ventilation power supply. Oh, we, oh, are we going to just do that? Unplug that shit. It's way different. Like, how is PUBG different now? Like, what did they change in it? What's up, Aspie Leo in Germany? I was just talking about how good your food is in Germany. Compared to, like, the rest of Europe. Not that there was, like, a lot of bad food. I remember having, like, some good food in Amsterdam, too. Amsterdam's, like, Switzerland. I didn't go to Italy, but I did have some solid, um, some solid Italian food in Slovenia. Which is, I think, like, the closest we were. We passed through Italy, but didn't play it. So, like, we just kind of skipped the whole country. But Slovenia was, like, the closest we were to it. Where we actually had, like, time to, like, go around and shit. Oh, shit. I'm, like, I'm, this is actually doing something now. So you did like a little like tricky brain thing there, because you know most of the game you're you got the thing to, like where you can scratch things. It doesn't really do anything. So like you look at that and you're like, oh, I, why would I scratch that? It's not gonna do anything. But it did something that time. Translate that? I guess not. Oh, damn. Okay, so it was still in there. I thought it was, like, spitting me out to, like, a special area that I had to, uh... to deal with to fucking get the, uh... get to where I was going. Cats from the beginning have to show up again. There's no way we're just never seeing those cats again. I bet it's gonna be like some crazy shit though, like... Oh, there we go. It's just like in the middle of the floor. All or all trades of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. 
as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. This fanciful music full of wonder. Let's get, uh, I guess I gotta, you know, I gotta get out this way. Let's go back to Momo. No, it's like, I don't know, like, I'm not sure, like, I could see a thing where it's like, the game ends, and you just like, meet up back with the other fucking cats, and you just like, you lost your backpack and the robot somehow. As that all the other robot, all the other cats, they're none the wiser of the great adventure you just went on. Cause they're just doing, they're just doing cat stuff. Now you're just doing cat stuff again. Could be like that, or it could be a deal where it's like the fucking the, the other cats have had a similar journey. I think it's gonna be the first way I said it though, but there's no way we're not seeing those cats again. See, I just like, I didn't line myself up properly. Hey, yo, Momo, look what we got. Oh, yeah, a couple of books. What's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabaltazar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I'll promise you I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Doogie Hauser ass music. It voila, it works. Oh, we get back outside. See that building high above the others? If you install a transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. If the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks, we need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. I see that big building up there. I see you. Zerks. The name Zerks reminds me of the fucking the Skugs from fucking VR Troopers. Okay, meow to attract enemies. So we, we yeah we get them out here. Then we just like dodge them all. And they had that fucking the song when the Skugs attacked. 
And they were like, the skugs, the skugs, the skugs, da 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 Oh god, no, I'm fucking dead! Okay. Oh, I gotta get up there, I see. It was so clearly just like putty patrollers, but not putties. They're the skugs. Uh, don't get it twisted. They're not putty patrollers. They're skugs. Anti Pikmin. That's a good way of putting it. I never, you know what? I've watched friends play Pikmin, but I never actually played Pikmin myself. It seems like it's a fun game, though. I don't know if that's a game I want to pick up and play anytime soon, though, but. You know what's one that I've been meaning to go back to? You remember Blast Core from fucking from the Nintendo 64 game Blast Core when you just there's like a a nuclear truck carrying a rocket and it's, you got to make sure that the rocket doesn't crash anything so you got to like destroy a bunch of buildings on its way. That's cool. You get like a bunch of different cars to do the destruction and eventually you get like a fucking uh you get like Gundam type things. What sucks too though, like the Gundams like. I feel like you get to that point where you get like the, those fucking things and the game gets so much harder at that point that you don't even really get to enjoy being in like a big fucking robot. Plock is kind of like that too. Where it's like, Plock, you get to this point of the game where you get like all kinds of crazy attack vehicles and shit that you don't see in like the rest of the game. Every stage is a different one. But the game at that point gets so fucking hard that you don't really get much time to really enjoy it. <laughs> City's full of neon. Used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. People couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like on the outside. I think it helped. This is the little memories corner here. over there. Yeah, that's what we have to do. We got the barrel like before. I imagine that's not tall enough for me to get onto, but it will be. Yeah, the trashier parts, um... The pressure, the trashier parts of the city, like, do, like, have, like, a very Final Fantasy VII vibe to them. Actually, now that I think about it, I have the Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I never played it. I just have it. I definitely, at some point, want to get to that, especially before the second part of it comes out. Oh, we're back into, like, the fucking, the fleshy fucking, the, the fucking Cronenberg buildings. How do we, how do we fucking climb the Cronenberg buildings? Fucking fuck, I can go for like a, I'm just looking at that fucking slime and I'm like, yo, I can go for like a good ass slice of pizza right now. That shit, it looks it looks like TV commercial pizza cheese. Okay, I'll attack that door.
Ha, you bozos are in jail now. Oh, 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 oh. Crap. Oh, wait, I see what I'm gonna do here. Ha. Dummies. KQ, thanks for the 20. Every time I have a significant moment in life, you do a live stream. You've announced when I started school, started my job, now I have a car, an apartment. Thank you for providing entertainment along the way. Hell yeah. Fucking congrats. It's, that's some coincidence, eh? Because I don't stream that often either. Although, I would like to. You know what it is too? Like I feel like when I do the earlier streams, like I kind of started this kind of early today. Every time I have a significant moment in life, you do a live stream. You've announced when I started school, started my job, and now I have a car and apartment. Thanks for providing entertainment along the way, Tilda Kirby. Oh yeah, I um, yeah. What it is too? Like when I start like the earlier. Cause like normally like by the time I would normally stream like I'll get my shit together and it's like like already 12 if not later and it's like not like I'm doing tons of shit during the day either it's just like I'm fucking like but by the time I get ready to go it's already that late so I'll just like work on something else rather than do a stream if I can get into the habit though of just kind of like streaming like not day like now it's like almost now it's one this is like a longer stream than I normally do, though. But like streaming earlier in general, we probably stream more often. Cause like after I'm done with the stream, like I woke up pretty late today too. Like once I get done with this, I'll probably work on a video that I got going too. Whereas if I didn't do the stream, I probably would have done nothing particularly useful anyway, and then gotten to work on that video at the same time. Alright, this is foreboding music. We're clearly like in the belly of the beast here. But I don't hear anything that crazy. I know they're lurking though. This isn't happy music. This isn't... Uh, we're not gonna encounter an enemy type music. We're too far away. Oh shit, I didn't think they would get me up there. God damn it. Fuck. They're sucking on me. <laughs> Yo. All right. Get out of here, Metroids. Oh my fucking god. Get him away. Is there something else over here though? That's pretty intense. But now where the fuck? Oh, I see. It's gonna be, uh... There's barrels I gotta fucking manipulate and shit. Oh, but they're stuck back... Alright, cool. They're stuck back there. Right. 
way, but yeah, I can already go that way. So I guess it's this way I want to go. Can I, am I going to roll that garbage over? Oh, I see. Getting up there. That's full tier demise. Little rat metroids. It's definitely gonna be like something crazy here. Yeah, I, think so. I don't know what this is gonna do, but it's there, so I gotta I gotta pull on it. Oh lord, they coming. Oh, 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 oh! We're juking these motherfuckers. Or I was. Oh, it's the elevator. Okay, I had to wait. Freedom. Like, it wasn't seeing like the things like jump up properly. I know there's gonna be something. Like, oh, maybe not. I thought there was gonna be like something else, like just as we do it. It's not highlighted, Ultima, Ultima Fool. Cat the Pirate. Look, the view, it's beautiful from here. What do you know of beauty, robot? I remember now the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the hermetic roof sealing off the city. Humankind built a shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster. Completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But, if you come from there, you must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside. It was to open the city. I don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't, but I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Very convenient. This is just like a system of buckets that take me exactly where I want to go whenever. So, you know, so I don't have to go do that all over again. It's just a bucket ride. Part 2. Oh, it 
like it literally just put us right back to the moment's part. Oh, you left the note. Little outsiders, you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I have locked the window, but the code to open it is quite simple. It is... Cool. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar, Momo. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Yeah, you got that, robot. Another foreskin mystery. For some reason, I feel like there was another foreskin mystery, like, that came up on my radar. I don't remember what the fuck it was now. Let's go back down to that bar. There's some kind of foreskin. I might, you know what? It might have been in my, like, collection of shorts that I was looking at. Um. Something, I know it was, you know what it was? I think I was thinking about the foreskin facial mask. That they were using foreskins for, uh, to replenish their youth. Rubbing it on their face. Actually, there was, um, there were a few that I was working on, too, of the shorts. The, the, the thing about, the, like, the format I got for the shorts, some of them, like, it, you gotta be careful, because some of them, like, you, you come across a story, and so this might be a good one for a short, and then, like, it turns out to be totally fake. Like, there was one that I was working on, um, it was, what was, oh yeah, it was the guy that got his prostate examined, and it made him nut. So he shot the doctor. That one, that's one that I've seen, like, reported a lot on, like, different formats, and... It's one of those things where it's like... There's no confirmation that it's fake, but there's no kind of, like, evidence or anything that's a real story. Just one thing that, like, one fucking, uh, thing reported, and then everybody linked back to the original report that has no kind of... It's, like, not substantiated in any kind of way. So, yeah, there's probably wasn't actually a case where a guy had a doctor stick a finger up his butt and he nutted from it. And, well, I mean, there's probably been a case of that, where, like, then he nutted of it, and they shot the doctor for, nut for nutting. Another one that I was looking into, and it's a, a weird one, because it's, like, it's one where, like, it might have happened, it might not have happened, but, like, it's hard to confirm it one way or the other. It's, like, one of those things where... It, it's been, like, backed up by people, but there's, like, no news reporting of it. But it's, like, the thing where, um, Bam Bam Bigelow, the wrestler, had supposedly rescued three kids from a burning building and then, like, wound up being, like, out of commission for a year from his burns. Um, it might have happened, it might not have happened. I think it would have happened in a time between when he was, like, going from U Japan to U.S. Because, like, he was doing that a lot for a bit. But, like, there's, like, no news reporting of that, no pictures of it or anything like that, which you would think might have happened. But people say it's true. Nick's Peanut, thanks for the five. World of Warcraft Corrupted Blood Incident. I never got into World of Warcraft, so, like, any kind of story I would do on World of Warcraft, it's kind of, like, it's gonna be so full of holes that it's just gonna be annoying for me to cover. Oh, we got some Baltazar. There's another one, too, that I was looking at, um, where a guy, and, like, I've read this Russian dude, like, he picked up this fish, and it was, like, full of, like, human-looking teeth. You have to go through the sewers to reach him. He, like, this Russian guy fishes up all kinds of weird shit, but then it's, like... It's, it, all we really got is just, like, the picture of the fish. And he throws... I think he, like, threw it back or something. I don't know. Like, that, to me, is, like, kind of suspect. Honestly, I might just do one, like, looking at that account. Uh -oh. The sewers. It's dangerous out there. Yeah. I'm, actually, I'm going to pull up an image of the human teeth fish. For a second.
just so we can look at this thing. This is Baltazar's alive. He and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabalthazar made it, there must be a way. Hey, you, drunk in the drunk person. I'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with Zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Damn, you just gave that old man in Texas Chainsaw Massacre type warning about the sewers. Yeah, of course the drunk robot's name is Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be... Oh, it's Doc's son. Used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Seamus has never been the same since. Oh, no. Listen to Shams, you just scared like I was. Doc built a weapon. That's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned the secret lab a few times. That must be where he was working on it. Must be a clue in Shamus' apartment. Let's follow him. Alright, now I gotta pull up the fucking the fish with the teeth. Real quick. There's a few, like, photoshopped, like, old, like, old-ass ones that come up. Look at the Russian. This is, like, a recent one. That's all uh, crazy look. But, like, yeah, um, there's, like, a thing, like, the Paku fish. Oh, no, it was a crab with fucking human-looking teeth. That's what it was. This is one of those fucking webips. Oh, no freaking webip. I don't think that'll work in OBS. It might. If it's updated. Because now, like, Photoshop and, uh... Now Photoshop and Premiere will take that. The webpees, whatever the fuck that is. I don't think OBS will, though. Here we go. I was going to do a video about this thing. There's a crab some Russian guy fished out. He fishes out all kinds of weird shit. But. Look at it. But there's not really much to it. I thought there was going to be like some kind of like. Uh, like he gave it to scientists or someone. And figured out what it is. But there's just like not. There's just like. He found it. Look at it. It's not really a video on that, so could I couldn't do a follow-up for any kind of thing for it. Just gonna what the fuck? Talk with Teddy. Uh, let's creepily go to Seamus, the drunken robot. Of course, the Irish robot is the fucking the drunk one, the only drunken one. Shame. Like they all got like regular name, not regular names, but you know. There's a natural process in evolution called calc calcification or something like that. Basically, all evolutionary roads lead to crabs. Yeah, it's like magic, it's just like turning into fucking crabs. 
that's like I, that might be like more of a a thing for a video topic than the actual fucking uh than the thing I was originally starting with the fucking tooth crab fucking thing. Yeah, Seamus is being a bitch, so I gotta sneak in his apartment. But we always knew that was gonna be the case, because I'm a fucking cat. Huh? You fucking creepy guy. Look at me, I know he knows a secret entrance to his friend's son's apartment. It's kind of weird. A little sus. Uh, when I think of humans turning into crabs, though, I just think of Meyer Lurks. Oh. What are you doing here? I told you getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Is this my papa's? There's a secret room in the flat. Oh, we can find that shit. Look for clues to the secret lab. Alright. Huh. We got four clocks. Time goes up to 16 in this world. Two, five. Alright, that might be. If there's a code there, the clocks might be the thing to look at. Code. Okay. Damn. That puzzle was a little too simple. Let's knock it all down. Oh, there's like some other shit here, too. Time- oh. Yo. So that was supposed to be the thing that told me to look at the clocks. But I just saw four clocks, and I'm like, oh, I guess that's the fucking code. Because why else would you have four clocks? Give me sheet music on the bed or something? Nah. What, Megami? seen this room. I can't believe you managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints. They must be for his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real-life test. He went outside the slums, and he never came back. Observations. Q Cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria- these are big bacterias? Eat all kinds of bacteria- that makes sense, because they're just fucking munching on things. So they're bacterias. And they react to intense light. <laughs> or about news headlines, Zerk are no longer a- are officially no longer under control. They now eat metal. <laughs> secret lab. Do all scientists have a secret lab? The Zerk weapon should be around here. No, it's not in that cardboard box. Seamus. Nope. Oh, got shit. 
See that fucking that light is too bright to actually be useful. the weapon though. Legato Modi, thanks for the 10. Hey Wang, have you heard Black Hitler got arrested for keeping sex slaves in his house against their will, allegedly? Oh shit! At first, I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Like, you talk about that fucking that Gazi dude, right? I saw people talking about him, but like, I didn't like look into like what the actual situation was. The like, fucking Gazi Kudzo guy. The Fluxer br blueprint <gasps> concept: light-based handgun, low priority visual appearance, size decibel emitted, high priority test in real condition. 20 zerk destroyed per second. schematics thing I looked at already. They found bodies. What the fuck? There's a spider web in the corner. Things. Can't push these boxes though. Side of the room. From the other box, there's a million fucking boxes in here. Oh, it's this fucking thing. So I looked at it a million times and the fucking thing didn't like pop up. Philip, thanks for the five. I know you're a huge NFL fan. Can we get a Go Colts, the Colts Nation? Wang, number one fan of the Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, sure. I had a homie that used to wear a fucking Colts jersey every fucking day, even though, like, you know, we got no connection to fucking Indianapolis over here. Sure, yeah, go Colts. 
pop. Yeah, like any. I hate like when there's like a, when you have a game in a situation where it's like you have to like kind of look at things the exact right way for the interaction to pop up. This game ha really hasn't had that many problems with it, but that was an annoying one. Can't believe my papa might still be alive. I miss him so much. Need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took that one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Hell yeah, I've developed the ability to walk through a fucking door. Alright, who can... Who can fix that tracker? It's that funky song again. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel like you're not gonna... You're gonna help me. Oh, it's you. Yeah, let's clean the paint. Oh no, you're a different guy that also has a cowboy hat. Never mind, I thought you were the fucking barter guy. Tell me what to do with this. There's a guy named Elliot. He might help you with that. Alright, we're looking for Elliot. Hey, yo, Daddy, you know any fucking Elliot? Bartender. I know somebody. I already met you. Know a guy? Is it Elliot? His name's Elliot. His office is just left of here, near Grandma's shop. There are signs all over his door. We out to find Elliot. talking his left, I guess. Not my left. What am I... Right, next to the grandma shop. It's got signs all over it. That doesn't have signs all over it. I mean, that kind of, yeah, it has signs all over it. Elliot Program. There we go. I wonder if this will be loud enough for it to count as knocking. It is. Well, who are you guys just followed me in here? Are you Elliot? You're Nestor. Get away from me, Nestor. You're not crucial to the story. Ellie right here is. Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You could track anyone with this little gadget, may I? I know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, oh, we gotta give him a cold poncho, that'll do the trick. Damn. Blanket or maybe a poncho. How does a robot get cold? The tremors have gone. 
Get an update. One more thing. Voila. There we go. Alright, goodbye, Elliot. I'll never talk to you again. You're no longer useful to the story. And this this curtain here, it's gonna do something, I bet. is a scientific marvel, it's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. That's what the humans would have wanted. Time to give you this uh, this little, little track of thing of a doodle. What is that thing? Uh, kind of need this, don't we? Oh, we gotta give to Seamus. That's right. somewhere over here. Yep. Damn, I'm surprised I fucking I got back to his apartment that quickly and then didn't fucking wander around for like a fucking hour. find where Papa went. Uh, walk faster, Seamus. I know you can do it. <laughs> it's getting mad at anybody that walks by. out there, but I must be sure. I need new. Let's do this. Way out. We're going to the sewers. Globular as fuck out here. Honestly, though, I think this is where I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna call the stream over here. Make sure, all right, so it's like a minute. This is the last sec. Let the fucking last checkpoint. Can we just like make it save here? I mean, I guess we'll start from walking over there with them. All right. So this is like a longer stream than I expected to do, but like, yo, like, thanks for hanging out today. I'll probably do another one soon-ish. Because it seems like, like the ones that start earlier are kind of like a, the better idea for them. But anyway, guys. Peace out. See you in the next one. Oh.
Legato Modi, thanks for the 10. I gotta be honest, this game is terrible. Toe wackatoo. Never gonna come at this rate. All right, well.